Three people died in that crash. A fourth remains hospitalized this morning. News NBC Samantha Damasio, live in Esperance with the latest on the investigation there. Sam. So, Ryan, this is a private airport. It's essentially sitting in the back of the owner's home right here. And that what's left of that single engine plane that went down is still sitting about a thousand feet from here. Investigators leaving the debris there as they continue to try to piece together exactly why this plane went down. What we know so far is that there was four people on board this plane and only one made it out alive. Schoharie County Sheriff's deputies telling us the survivor is believed to be the pilot. He was airlifted to Albany Medical Center and then transferred to the Westchester Burn Unit. His condition not known right now. The FAA says around 6:45 Saturday night, the single-engine plane took off from Hogan Airport here in the town of Esperance and made it only about 1,000 feet before it went down in a heavily wooded area and burst into flames. Now it's believed that this plane was headed to Connecticut. That's where it originated. We're told that the plane had flew in from out of state. They were going to attend a party here. Hosted by the airport's owners. Now, the autopsies are scheduled for today. We hope to learn the identities of all three and four passengers. Now, we are live in Esperance. Samantha Damasio, News 10, ABC.